Never fight fairly. Only fight on your conditions, on your terms, and in the location or venue of your choice. Let's discuss setting the conditions so that you will never have a fair fight again, and we will do so by giving a conventional military example, a special operations example, and then discuss ways that you can benefit from applying this principle to your career and your personal life. A fair fight briefs well. The protagonist of a movie puts down his gun so he can dominate the bad guy in a fair fight. And he always does, because it's Hollywood. But in real life, if the bad guy doesn't have a gun and you do, there is no way you should ever put down the weapon in order to have a fair fight. President Theodore Roosevelt used to quote a West African proverb, speak softly but carry a big stick. He negotiated like a gentleman, but he had a powerful and responsive military under his control that helped ensure he always got his way. Let's jump to a conventional military example of setting the conditions. In military planning, we use the term set the conditions when the situation on the ground is not optimal and we need to find ways to mitigate the situation to our advantage. Imagine that some bad guys are located on a certain piece of key terrain that includes a large open field. We have to assume that they have the ability to fire upon anything in the field. Yet, we have to land helicopters on that field and own that piece of terrain to prepare for a future operation. If we were to simply fly in and land on that piece of terrain, the enemy would shoot us down. So we set the conditions before we land, and we do that in many ways. We would first of all attack in the middle of the night when the bad guys are not prepared and cannot see as well as we can. Next, we would prep the objective with artillery fire. Then we would launch a seed mission or suppression of enemy air defense. Next, we would send in attack helicopters to destroy the target. Next, we would launch smoke to obscure the visibility of any lucky survivors. And then we would land the helicopters and their infantrymen. This is how we set conditions to ensure that we will be successful. Special operations forces are often required to do tactical missions of strategic importance. Failure is not an option. Yet, there are just 12 to 15 men on the objective. They don't have nearly the firepower and strength of a 100-man infantry company. And so when they operate, they must set the conditions to ensure that they have the upper hand, that they don't have a fair fight. First of all, they will do their mission in the middle of the night when no one is expecting them. This gives them the element of surprise. Sometimes they arrive in loud and fast helicopters that deliver them to the objective quickly. Other times they silently walk in from a valley away and no one even hears them coming. Another way soft set the conditions is by having close air support. A laser guided bomb wreaks havoc and an Apache helicopter helps eliminate the armed bad guys outside the objective. SOF will employ snipers who have great vantage points from the high ground and who can provide protection, cover fire, and overwatch to the assaulting force. SOF bring their own medics to ensure wounds are treated and patients are stabilized immediately. And they have an infantry company on standby as an emergency quick reaction force, or QRF. These SOF missions are a success because they stack the odds in their favor so much so that failure is highly unlikely. Even in a fair fight, I've seen soft destroy all adversaries. This is because they have mastered the basics and can shoot, move, and communicate better than anyone on the battlefield. But we prefer to set the conditions and stack the odds in our favor so that we never have to have a fair fight. Similarly, if you have a decisive event in your career or at work, then set the conditions to ensure that you are successful. Don't just walk in one day and ask for a raise. Make sure that the lead up to asking for a raise is calculated and deliberate. Make sure your salary discussion is after a conference where you stuck out as a key performer. Have your conference catered with your boss's favorite food. Be amazingly prepared. Rehearse your presentation or speech or request. Dress like your career depends on it. And then bring your A-game. You've heard me say several times now that by the time you're an adult, your life is your own fault. So if you aren't where you want to be, then make a plan and make it happen. Do you want to have better caliber friends? Do you want to get into that special school? Do you need better advisors? Are you getting good enough sleep? 
Do you have a man plan or a woman plan? Seriously, whatever your goal is, you need to set the conditions so that you can only be successful. Be deliberate, be ethical, be discreet, and be smart about it, but work hard. Ensure that you get and maintain the high ground. Set the conditions so that you will have no other option but to succeed. A few years ago, I had to take a language test. I let my ego get the better half of me and I did almost no preparation. Three hours into the four hour test, I fell asleep at the computer screen. I simply wasn't used to taking a four hour test and certainly not in another language. Six months later, I set the conditions and was prepared and I got a much better test score. Learn from my mistake. If you have a language test or an academic test or a college admissions test, then set the conditions for this test by studying hard and being ready for it mentally. Sleep well the days before the test. Eat well the days before the test. Taper down and be prepared. Set the conditions so that you succeed. Okay, there you have it. A quick discussion on setting the conditions. I recommend that you never engage in a fair fight. Do what you can to ensure that you have the advantage and that the odds are stacked in your favor. Let me know what you have done to set the conditions for an important life event in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to join my life as a special operations team and to forward this video to a friend who needs to see it. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?